So fasting could be a lifestyle, but uh, it looks like it has a therapeutic value. Oh, absolutely, it has yeah. therapeutic value. And remember that people used to have it as part of their lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So that is, you eat. There's no snacking, and then after dinner. You would stop eating, say around six or seven o'clock. You would not eat until breakfast, which is say seven or eight o'clock in the morning. That's twelve or thirteen hours every single day that people would be fasting without even thinking about it.、Mm -hmm. Right? It wasn't something people, oh my god, I need to fast, so therefore I must do this. They just did it without thinking about it. Sort of like three hundred and sixty-five days a year, it was just there. And you know, if if people、uh, had certain religions, they would have more fasting on top of that. Right, so during Lent or during Ramadan or during Yom Kippur, there's various religious things people would fast. Or if people are Buddhist, they would have certain fasting. Or Greek Orthodox, they would have certain types of fasting. So there's, on top of that, there's additional things. And the the whole idea of fasting was always something that was very healthy for you.、Mm -hmm. Right, people always thought of it as a detoxification,、mm -hmm. a cleansing, a purification. Um, so people thought of it as a good thing to take a break from eating every so often because you're eating honestly, like out of the 365、mm -hmm. days, all of the other days you're basically eating normally. So therefore, taking a break once in a while is、mm -hmm. good for you. Until the 1990s, 2000s, when people said, "No, no, you must eat all the time, right?" As soon as you wake up, you must start putting food in your mouth, and you have to keep putting food in your mouth until you go to bed. And that's how you're going to lose weight. It's like, no, <laughs> you can't lose weight by putting more food in your mouth more frequently, right? So it's 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 you know it's a strange thing. But we're actually not trying to come up with new things.、Mm -hmm. We're actually trying to go back to old things, eating natural foods, not eating all the time. Like those are old ideas. They're not new ideas. So let's talk about、uh, fasting as uh, therapy. Uh, for example. Uh, for diabetic patient, let's say、yeah. uh, you prescribe certain drug, certain milligrams for certain condition for diabetic type two diabetic patient. Like how long, how much fasting? How would you prescribe it to be safe and then to be effective? Yeah, so the, the, the idea is that you, there's no rush. So what you want to do is slowly introduce it because、mm -hmm. remember the medications that you take for type two diabetes. Are based on your current diet.、Mm -hmm. So if you change that diet, and it doesn't have to be fasting, it could be you know cutting down carbs, it could be cutting calories, it could be anything,、mm -hmm. Mediterranean, it could be anything. But when you change your diet, you have to adjust those medications as well. So the same thing with fasting. The best thing is to start slowly,、mm -hmm. so cutting out snacks and then slowly increasing the amount of time that you're allowing your body to burn off the glucose. So you can go up to 14 hours. You can go up to 16 hours and give it a couple of weeks, and then see what your sugars are. So the keys are really monitoring.、Mm -hmm. So you want to know what's happening to your blood glucose. If your blood glucose starts going low, so for type two diabetes on medications, if it starts going low, you have to understand that's good. That's what we're trying to do,、mm -hmm. right? Because I see so many. I remember I see so many places where they say, "Oh, you should eat all the time because otherwise your blood sugar could go low." I'm、mm -hmm. like. But I'm trying to get the blood sugars <laughs> low. So remember, if your blood sugars drop、mm -hmm. when you're following a diet, any diet or fasting, that's good. That's what you're supposed to be happening.、Mm -hmm. So in the what, mentality, the drug is there. You have to continue on, and、yeah. then you should not go too low on the blood. Yeah, you should glucose, go too low,、so、but then you should reduce you the, the diet. <laughs> yeah, you should. Yeah, exactly. So we had it all wrong. We had. You know the the drugs were this sort of thing that you shouldn't touch, and you adjust the diet. <laughs> no, you adjust the diet. If your sugars go low, then you start cutting out your medications. Right, and that's good. You want to be on less medications, right? So the the whole idea of oh, you must eat to keep your blood sugars high so that you can take your insulin、mm. is completely wrong. I think that's where the、uh, frequent small meals idea comes from. Some doctors advise on that because of the. The drug effect, right? It was. It was because it came from type one diabetes,、mm -hmm. where remember they had to take insulin. So、mm -hmm. you have to. They didn't have enough insulin. They had to take insulin.、Mm -hmm. But the insulins that they had back, you know, thirty years ago,、mm -hmm. were not that sophisticated. So therefore, they did not line up with sort of the three meals a day. So because of the the strange, 
you know, dosing of insulin. Mm -hmm. And this is exogenous insulin. So mm -hmm. normally our pancreas produces right. lots of insulin so that it matches what we eat. In type 1 diabetes, they had to take this sort of artificial exogenous insulin. It was human insulin, but it was injected from the outside as opposed to pancreas from the inside. And in order to match that and not have to take, you know, 10 shots a day, they would have to eat these frequent mm -hmm. small meals. See. So the idea came, from, hey, if it's good for type 1 diabetes, it should be good for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's like, but nobody else has type 1 diabetes. So right. why would it be good for everybody else? But it, it sort of sprang from that idea. And then just, you know, the more people said mm -hmm. it, the more people thought, oh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. if people are saying it, it must be true. One of these things where you, if you repeat it enough times, it becomes true, but it, it was I never see. true. Right. It's, it, it was true for type 1 diabetics in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you take an idea that applied to type 1 diabetes in the 80s to everybody in the world in 2024? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. make sense. That's an old idea that had its time, had a time, like there was a reason we used it then. Right. There's no reason to use it to a different population in a different time. We don't even use it for any yeah. any diabetics now because we have better insulin. Can type 1 diabetes could be improved? So mm -hmm. Normally our pancreas produces right. lots of insulin. Type 1 diabetes is a different disease. It's not mm -hmm. a dietary disease. Mm -hmm. So it's likely an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. So therefore it's not going to be improved significantly by diet. Mm -hmm. uh, whether fasting makes any difference, again, that's quite controversial. I mm -hmm. don't know that there's any good evidence gotcha. that it's true. Gotcha.